Pierre-Joseph Proudhon famously quipped, La propriété c'est le vol, property is theft. I won't say that that's mistranslated, but I believe that it's misunderstood in the modern world, and especially in the modern English-speaking world. Um, what he would have been referring to in the 19th century when he wrote was what we would now today called rentier property, absentee, absentee landlordism or absentee possession. In other words, um, whoever owns the property doesn't have to do anything uh, but sit around, smoke cigars, drink champagne, and be a lounge lizard and draw dividends. And the people who actually do the work get very little in return. It's not, he wasn't trying to say that if you own a small cottage, you are a thief. He, this was actually a denunciation of rentier property, of uh, dividend-based property. That's all. That's just my opinion, my take on what I know of Monsieur Proudhon and his works. Um, I would actually modernize that uh, in terms of the modern sort of libertarian discourse, shall we say, or anarcho-capitalist or randist objectivist discourse, I would say the following, based on my uh, interpretation of the discourse that holds the taxation as theft. I would define taxation as a demand made by the group upon the individual. I would define property as a demand made by the individual on the group. And taking those two uh, definitions as my starting point, which I, I don't expect everyone to agree with, by the way. I understand that a lot of people are going to disagree, um, but that's, I suppose, the purpose of this, uh, of this post, this video. Um, taking the uh, point of view that um, taxation is a demand of the group placed on the individual and property is a demand of the individual placed on the group, I would then say if taxation is theft, then property is theft. Note that I've got the if-then in there. Um, one side of that equation doesn't really work in my view of things without the other. If taxation is theft, then property is theft. Thank you.